Tosha Khanna is a serious case, uh, but a weak trial has led to suspension of PTI chairman's three-year sentence today, and order of his release by the Islamabad High Court. It was somehow evident because uh, legal experts have been arguing that uh, the trial had clear loopholes. Even the Chief Justice of Supreme Court also, in his his remarks, said that the trial court judge gave verdict in haste. Legal experts uh, have been pointing out that uh, PTI chairman was not allowed to present his witnesses. uh including the accountant who was aware of his financial uh, uh, his tax matters and the trial court judge did not allow final arguments and above all a 3 year sentence is in general considered a short uh, sentence and it is bailable uh, regardless of merits now the question is will imran khan be able to be released from the jail right after the verdict announcement uh, by the islamabad high court we saw another breaking news which was judge abdul hasnath uh who is uh, listening to the cipher case under official secret act uh, he issued a letter to jail authorities requesting that imran khan should be kept in jail uh, as he is on judicial remand in that case also uh, today imran khan's legal team also uh, it looked like they already knew and the interior minister rana sanaula had already predicted that imran khan will not be released because there are other cases against him so imran khan's legal team filed a fresh petition in islamabad high court seeking directives uh, to prevent authorities from making an, uh, any further arrest of the former prime minister uh, in cases filed against him after august 5th when he was convicted in the tosha khana case by the trial court so it looks difficult and uh, looks like the difficulties are not nearly over for the pti chairman but let's see if the courts intervene and stop his arrest in other cases i would also like to mention another very important point which is that the political parties are targeting the courts and judges like we have never seen before Uh, after today's verdict per, uh, was announced uh, the by the Islamabad High Court former prime minister Shahbaz Sharif taunted the courts uh, in his twitter uh, in his message on twitter uh, saying that the chief justice's message of good to see you and wishing you good luck has reached Islamabad High Court so um, i think it is very concerning that because we saw a few days ago pti ran a campaign against the same chief justice of islamabad high court justice amir farooq on twitter the uh, they were very disrespectful tweets uh, from the pti official page also as well as their followers were also targeting the judge and pmln is also taking the same path uh, i think it is very concerning that the political parties are selectively criticizing the judges it shows how our politics has taken over the courts and behaving like uh, blackmailers also it is very important to mention that the questions that were raised at the supreme court about the formation of benches from within the supreme court if they were addressed on time things would have been different um and these politicians would think twice before criticizing and pressurizing the courts just today it's another example that justice uh, uh, mansoor ali shah he once again urged the Ch- chief justice of pakistan to either form a full court uh, hearing imran khan's petition uh, that he challenged the amendments in nap law or give a final judgment on the supreme court practice and procedure act 2023 so it also shows us that all is still not well uh, in the supreme court and this issue needs to be addressed let's see if the chief justice of pakistan uh before his retirement he addresses the issue raised by his fellow judges uh many times not once but many times we'll have to see that